Good age, good year, it's your boy Tom back here with another video and in this video today guys we're going to be going over and ranking our top pink diamonds in NBA 2K24 my team. Now I do want to say uh, the pink diamonds right now in my team aren't great because a lot of them basically all of them are in the player market. And what 2K has decided to do is just basically make the player markets, uh, I, I don't even, I, I, I don't know, not good. I, I don't know if that's the best way to uh, say it or phrase it, but that's really uh, the, the way it is. Now, I will say this, guys. If any pink diamond came out over like two, two and a half months ago, they're not going to be featured on this list. It's basically most of the pink diamonds, basically everyone in the last two, uh, two or so months as well as some guys like Michael Beasley uh, and Yee Yalen guys like that. But honestly, there's not that many good pink diamonds. So we're going to start it off with Alexei Pokachevsky, and I'm going to put him in B tier. I mean, I, I don't hate Poku. I think the card's fine. He's just not great. Seven feet tall, get a stretch of court, be a solid uh, card for you guys in my team. Alex Caruso might be A tier. I mean, Alex Caruso is going to get you stops. He can knock down shots. He can do a lot. And I will say at the point guard position, there are some solid pink diamonds. I think Alex Caruso is one of the best. Asar Thompson, I mean, it starts with that release. Release, not great for Asar Thompson. Everything else on the court, not great either. C tier is where he belongs. Boris Diaw up next, not great. B, I'll go C tier. I didn't use Boris Diaw. I think I had to get like Suns Dunks or something like that. I used Boris Diaw. He's fine. You can use him. He's just not great. Brian Scalabrini stinks, D tier. And Scout, like, I think when he came out, people were like, oh my gosh, Brian Scalabrini, but he, he's not a good card. Cassie Russell, F tier. I don't know. I don't know how, if you're 2K, you can mess a card up like Cassie Russell. I, li I literally don't know. I don't get it. Cassie Russell, throughout 2K history, has had some very, very, very good cards. And people are always hyped to get Cassie Russell. But I don't know what they did with this Kaz Russ card. He is absolutely dog water. Derek Lively is decent. B tier might be the right spot. I mean, some people might argue higher. Some people might argue lower. I think the tough part for me with Derek Lively is like, how consistently are you going to be able to knock down shots? Because he's long, lengthy, going to get your stops. It just comes down to that shot making. Dino up next. I think Dino's got to be A tier. I mean, some people honestly might argue S tier, and I might possibly move Dino up to S tier. But I think for me, when I look at Dino, it's 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 one of those things. It's like his three ball is only a 79. And with that, I mean, I think it's hard for me to argue any higher. I think A tier is a good spot for the card right now. Doug Collins is not good. I know the card recently came out. And some people might be like, oh, well, Doug Collins gives you some things on the court. Look, his release is on normal timing. He just doesn't give you a whole ton. To me, I mean, D tier, I think is fair. Dyson Daniels, I'm I'm putting it S tier. And, and some people, again, like Alex Crusoe over Dyson Daniels. And if that's you, I want you to know, from me to you, that's okay. It's okay if you like a card more than I do. That's fine. Dyson Daniels, to me, is taller to me he has a better release than Alex Crusoe I get why people probably like Alex Crusoe better I mean especially defensive stats defensive badges he is gonna be better but I think from an overall picture I will take Dyson Daniels George Niang not very good to see tier again a lot of these pink diamonds are just so very mid Gerald Green very mid C tier not great Harold Miner's a little better I mean I, I think going B tier is gassing it though I don't hate Harold Miner but I do not like him at B tier because I think Poku is way better. And I think Derek Lively is way better. So I think it comes down to this. If I want to put Harold Miner at B tier, which I might, I think I got to move Poku up. And I think I've got to move Derek Lively up. So that's just ultimately what it might come down to. Jaden Ivey up next. Not great C tier. Again, not a card that I'm like hype about. Gonna want to hype up. Hamiakes, I mean, a little better. B tier, maybe. I still, I, I don't, I don't love the full picture with the card though. It's like you got his base on normal time. He's he's only what six six. Just, I, I, it's tough. It's tough for me to hype these type of cards up because I just don't necessarily see it. Jalen Duran, he's not horrible. He is worse than Derek Lively. I'll go C tier. He is an interior center, but he's not horrible. James Jones. I think I'm going to go like this. James Jones, to me, is a B-tier shooting guard. That, that, I, I think with what he gives you offensively, 
he is good enough to be a B tier. Whereas like Hamiakis might be better defensively, but an overall picture, I don't see it. Jeff Teague, F tier, the card stinks. Joe Kim Noah, I've tried to run him. I've had no success with it. And you guys might have success with Joe Kim Noah. And if you do, awesome. But to me, he is C tier. Jonathan Kaminga, he's just not great. It starts and ends with that release C tier. Jordan Poole. Some people like Jordan Poole. They're somewhat like the card. I, I, I don't see it. I'm going to go D tier with him. And I know some people do use Jordan Poole and probably do have success with him. And again, if that's you, that's okay. I think he's D tier though. Jordan Walsh is really, really, really solid. I honestly think he's better than James Jones. But another guy with only a normal release time. It's tough to put him any higher. Kirk Heinrich, really solid. B tier. I don't think he's at Alex Caruso level, but I think B tier is the right spot for him. Montalas stinks. D tier. No questions really asked. Nicholas Claxton, A tier. I like Claxton in my team. I think he's better than Derek Lively. Now, if I'm going to do that, I'm going to move Dino to S tier, though. I'm going to, because Dino is better than Claxton. There's no real questions asked. But I do think Claxton deserves some respect in my team. OJ and Obi, absolutely fantastic. One of the best three and D uh, pink diamonds in the entire game. A tier at the very minimum. Peyton Watson, he's just better than OG. I, and I know some people might disagree with me. Peyton Watson in my team is different. He's different. And and I've said it before and I'll say it again. He is one card I will hype up until, you know, the last Peyton Watson card comes out. He's absolutely elite. Release on quick plays, great defense. He is so, so, so good. Ray Flafranz, S tier as well. I mean, for me, a Rafe, it always starts with that release. If you have that big wang type release, which he does, he's like the new big wang in my team, you're going to be high on my list. Reggie Theus, I know he's long, lengthy. He's just not great. I'll go B tier. Richard Hamilton, C tier. The card's very mid, very mediocre. Uh, mediocre. Rolando Blackman stinks. Again, some of these cards are just not it. Rolando Blackman, when I look at the card, I think D tier is where he belongs. Release isn't great. Movement's not great. I know his defense might be okay, but as far as an overall card, not great in my team. Rui Hachimura, A tier. Great 3 and D option in my team. Steve Blake. Honestly, here, here's, here, here's my honest opinion on Steve Blake. I've not used a card, okay? And some cards I've used, you know, I, I, I can tell you a lot about. Steve Blake, I really can't. Tree Rollins, I know he's an inside big, but he's 7-1, going to do some things for you on the court. I'm going to go C tier with the card. I'm going to move Live Lip, and I'm going to move Joe Kimono up. I think that's fair to do for both of them at their respective tiers. Tyrus Thomas, S tier. I mean, small forward, power forward. You're not getting a better pink diamond than a guy like Tyrus Thomas. Easy, easy, easy addition into S tier. Walker Kessler, I don't know if I see it with Walker Kessler. I mean, C tier? I, I mean, he may be B tier. I'll put him at B tier, but I just don't know if I love him that much. Paul George, easy addition into A tier. I kind of want to, and I know you guys are going to call me crazy. kind of want to put Paul George at S tier. But when it comes down to it, I think Peyton Watson is better than Pink Diamond Paul George. Kawhi Leonard, really do like the claw. At this stage, Pink Diamond uh, Kawhi is only A tier, though. Anthony Davis, Pink Diamond, A tier. It's crazy. These all-star Pink Diamonds are so good. Now, you guys might be like, Ty, they came out two months ago. They're not this good anymore. What, what I would ask is, okay, what have they changed with the Pink Diamonds? Really nothing. Like, bad stats are basically the same uh, total. Honestly, when you look at these cards, these cards get the same SIGs as the, as the other Pink Diamonds. Like, nobody's getting their SIGs updated. I mean, it is what it is. Devin Booker, play off Devin Booker, man. Shout out to him. He did go crazy last night. I'm going A tier with D Book. Mikael Bridges stinks. C tier. I put him on here really because I see a lot of Mikael's. I think he's in triple threat offline or in the vault uh, there. And he is, he's okay. Donovan Mitchell, C tier. Not a total scrub. Franz Wagner, really, really solid. Franz is A tier to me. Franz has good length on the court, good size, good versatility. Easy addition into A tier. Danny Green, I think, is B tier. If you get Danny Green, he can play. Is he a card I would necessarily buy off the player market, anything like that? Probably not. Jaron Jackson Jr., A tier. Right in there with Anthony Davis. I think, you know, if you're going to hype up Anthony Davis, you got to be able to hype up Jaron Jackson Jr. Because both of them are going to give you some uh, similarities on the court. Am I saying they're exactly the same? No. But they're going to give you some similarities. Bam, here's the tough part. I really like Bam. I think he's just a little undersized compared to a guy like Anthony Davis. And size runs the game right now. I mean, it really does. Bam's only 6'9", just makes things a little tough for you guys on the court. Michael Cooper, really, really good. I think he's a Danny Green type level. Somebody's going to argue higher. DBG would probably put him in S tier. To me, Michael Cooper is B tier. Scotty Barnes up next. He's mid, but I think he's B tier. Like, he's mid, but he's not going to kill you on the court. Going to be able to knock down shots, play solid enough defense. I think he does enough for me to uh, put him in that tier. Victor Oladipo up next. 
I mean, look, some people really like Victor Oladipo and some people are really good with him, but I'm taking Kirk Heinrich and Reggie Theus over him. I'm sorry, Victor Oladipo. To me, you are C tier. Xavier McDaniel, I mean... I think the reason Xavier McDaniel gets hyped up is because of what he's been in the past. You know, in past 2Ks, he has been really good. This year, he's just not that good. He's very mid, very mediocre. AI, F tier. Tyrese Maxey, F tier. Dean Wade. Dean Wade's actually solid. I think B tier is the right spot for Dean Wade. One thing doesn't belong here, and that's Poku. Poku is an A tier caliber uh, pink diamond, and I I don't care. To me, that's where the card belongs. Michael Beasley, Mm, this one's tough. I mean, if Rui's an A-tier, B's has to be an A-tier. Some people might put him, want to put him in S-tier because his release is so, so, so good. And if that's you, okay, I get it and I'll listen to you because I I think, you know, the release of Michael Beasley, you can debate he's the best pink diamond in the game. Do I think that anymore? No, but you can debate it. Yeah, Yalen up next, A-tier. No questions really asked there. Easy addition there. Max Strew stinks, uh, D tier. The card is really bad. Paolo Boncaro up next. I like Paolo Boncaro. And I'm on record for hyping up Paolo Boncaro. So obviously the new Opal Boncaro, I do like a little bit more. Uh, he was the pro pass uh, reward. But why did I like him so much? Because I knew the Pink Diamond Boncaro was that good. So I just knew the Opal would be even better. Pink Diamond Boncaro can still play in my team. Cliff Hagen, very mid. I'll put him at uh, C tier. Not a total scrub. Chauncey Billups, D tier. Ricky Rubio, D tier. Tubby Walker, not good. I mean, D tier for Tubby Walker. I'm not going to hype up a garbage man. Ben Wallace. I don't even hate Ben Wallace, but at this stage, D tier because he can't shoot. Chandler Parsons, you're going F tier. You stink. Darren Williams, even D tier. You're not very good. Denny, finally a card I got to drag up a little higher. I'm going to go A tier with Denny. He's 6'9 at the point guard position. I don't care about anything else. If you're 6'9 at the point guard position, I'm going to hype you up a little bit. Josh Hart, not very good. He's been hooping in the playoffs though for sure. Yusuf Nurkic is really solid. You know, B tier for Nurkic. I know it's it's Nurkic, and he's not no, necessarily the most hyped up card, but know this. Nurkic in 2K, pretty solid. The release, not great, but other than that, solid enough. Sexton, not good. Vooch, I mean, look. I'll go B tier. He is a stretch big. I've used him uh, quite a bit on the No Money Spent Squad series. I don't necessarily love him. I don't necessarily think he's he's like that great, but can stretch the court, can knock down shots. Decent enough release. Jabari Smith Jr., B tier. I mean, he has a great release. Get to play solid enough defense. He's fine. Bryant Reeves, I mean, I guess I'll go uh, B tier. I, again, I'm not going to hype up the card as much as some people, but I think Bryant Reeves is just fine. Gallo, I mean, he's fine, but again, Gallinari is another card. If we didn't have Gallinari that was great in the past, I don't think people would hype him up that much. So I like this tier list and what I did with it. Why? Because I've got five guys that you can build a pink diamond starting S tier uh, five with. Got a lot of guys at A, B, C, uh, and then D and F as we do go down the ranks. That's going to wrap it up for our Pink Diamond tier list. Let me know your thoughts on it down below in the comments. Who is I too high on? Who is I too low on? Who did I leave off the Pink Diamond list that you guys are like, Ty, you can't leave them off. Drop a like on it. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, man, I love you guys. Have a blessed day.